Russian planes dropped two aerial bombs on the Belgorod region, ASCRA reports, citing sources. I in the area of the village of Bezamino on the morning of March 28, a high explosive FAB 250 aerial bomb was discovered. More than 140 village residents were evacuated for a day, and by evening the bomb was removed and destroyed. The second FAB 500 bomb was found in the village of Nechivka. The village residents were not evacuated, Russian warplanes regularly drop munitions en route to Ukraine. Most often, incidents occurred in the Belgorod region. On February 22, a FAB-250 fell in the village of Salodi, the ammunition did not detonate, and was later destroyed at the test site. On January 27, FAB-250 was found in the village of Postnikov, Korachansky district. On January 2, a Russian rocket fell on the village of Petropavlovka in the Voronezh region and exploded. Four people were injured, more than 100 houses, a school, a community center, an administration building, as well as five cars and a tractor were damaged. The region's governor, Alexander Guzov, said that the authorities would have to rebuild nine houses. Another abnormal discharge of aircraft ammunition occurred on April 20, 2023 during the flight of a Su-34 bomber over Belgorod. The bomb fell in the city center at the intersection of Vachutina and Gupkin streets, resulting in a crater with a radius of 20 meters. The explosion broke glass in neighboring houses, and one of the cars flew onto the roof of the store. Three people were injured. We will destroy F-16s just as we destroy today's tanks, armored vehicles and other equipment. Russian President Vladimir Putin has slammed claims that Russia is planning to fight against Europe as utter nonsense. As for the allegations that we are planning to invade Europe after Ukraine, this is utter nonsense meant solely to intimidate their population to make them pay more money, he said at a meeting with military pilots in the Tver region. He noted that this narrative unfolds amid the slumping economy and deteriorating living standards. This is absolutely clear and is acknowledged by everyone. This is not propaganda. This is what is really happening. They need to justify themselves so they are intimidating their population with a potential Russian threat while seeking to expand their dictation onto the entire world. Putin stressed. Putin has termed as nonsense the idea of Russia starting a conflict with NATO countries. Putin added that there was an environment of fear created by Western countries about a Russian threat to countries like Poland, the Czech Republic or the Baltic states as a tactic to justify defense spending. Putin, during the course of his speech, accused NATO of moving closer to Russian borders and not the other way around. His comments came at a time when tensions between both the sides have increased drastically. They came right up to our borders. Did we go across the ocean to the borders of the United States? No, they are approaching us and they have come very close, Putin added. Meanwhile, Putin has said that if Western countries supply Ukraine with F-16 fighters, the aircraft will not alter the situation on the battlefield. If they supply F-16s and they are talking about this and are apparently training pilots, this will not change the situation on the battlefield. And we will destroy the aircraft just as we destroy today's tanks, armored vehicles and other equipment, including multiple rocket launchers, Putin said. Putin's remarks came after Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba said that the aircraft should arrive in Ukraine in the coming months. Kiev has been asking for F-16s. Countries like Belgium, Denmark, Norway and the Netherlands have pledged to donate F-16s, while other countries have said that they would train Ukrainian pilots in their use. French Defense Minister Sebastian Lecorneau has announced that Paris will soon be able to supply Kiev with 78 Caesar self-propelled howitzers and will increase supplies of shells to meet Ukraine's urgent ammunition needs. ATA press conference, Lecorneau said that France, Ukraine and Denmark had reached an agreement to finance the delivery of Caesar 155mm self-propelled howitzers, which would allow Paris to deliver them quickly. He added that France also aimed to supply Ukraine with 80,000 rounds of ammunition for 155mm guns this year, compared to the 30,000 it has provided since the start of the full-scale invasion. In addition, Lecorna noted that France was involved in the search for existing stocks of gunpowder and ammunition that could be purchased from countries outside the EU as part of Czechia's initiative under the plan. The Czechs seek to obtain 800,000 artillery shells for Ukraine. Czech leaders previously said the first shell should be delivered to Ukraine no later than June. At least 18 countries have joined the initiative, according to officials in Prague.At the same time, 
Licorno said that European countries should reduce their dependence on the United States to ensure security on the continent. This is an absolute necessity. I think it's wrong that American taxpayers should pay so much for the security of Europeans, he said.